Well, local leaders coming together this morning to try to address car break-ins, car thefts, and catalytic converter thefts as well. Authorities reporting increases in all those crimes in the St. Louis area. Five Two's Chris Renier live in Clayton with details on just how serious these crime trends have become. Good morning to you, Chris. Blair, good morning to you. Marjorie, good morning to you as well. We've been reporting recently on this troubling trend of car break-ins, mass car break-ins in the St. Louis region. Thieves hitting many cars quickly on lots like this one, oftentimes overnight when cars are parked for several hours and workers are inside doing their jobs. The crimes, of course, leaving many victims frustrated and upset. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox shows you a recent scene in St. Louis City where multiple cars were broken into. Between May and November, St. Louis police, in fact, report 2,961 car break-ins in the city. That's up from 500, that's up 550 from the same time frame last year. In St. Louis County, police say car break-ins are up 10% this year. We're also told catalytic converter thefts are up nearly 300% in St. Louis County. Two of the most recent break-ins happened over the weekend. Authorities telling us seven cars were broken into at Missouri Baptist Medical Center and two cars were hit at River City Casino. Police tell us a firearm was stolen from one of those cars at River City. Investigators suspecting three to four thieves involved in that River City case. Large parking areas in the St. Louis region where break-ins have happened recently include lots for UPS, FedEx, and Amazon. This morning's news conference is going to feature representatives from police departments, prosecuting attorney's offices, and two members from the St. Louis County Council, including former St. Louis County Police Chief Tim Fitch. St. Louis County Police are hosting this morning's event. For now, live in Clayton, I'm Chris Fernier.